I'm a little rusty right now. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Bear with me. So I love using the service Spotify. I know a lot of people are anti the DRM, DRM bad and all that kind of stuff, but the Spotify I think is a good value. I get it, you're renting the music, you don't own it. But sometimes I don't want to own the song, I just want to listen to the song. Which is weird to me because some people have no problem with listening to the radio even though you don't technically own the song on the radio. I guess there's also no DRM on the radio because you can just hit record and be into that. But that's besides the point. Let's talk about Spotify and why A, I like it and B, the way I use it is a little bit different than you might think. First, I think it's a good value. There's a lot of music on Spotify and I am one of those weird people who actually likes listening to new music. The other part about the whole Spotify love that I have, um, it really comes down to the way you can use Spotify. I pull my copy of Spotify from the Aurora market because I do not use play services directly. But on my desktop, even though I, I, I do have the Spotify app, nine times out of 10, I'm actually using two programs, one called Spotify TUI or the Spotify text user interface. And the other end is Spotify D, the Spotify daemon server. Here's how I like to use my Spotify. As you can see on my dock down here at the bottom, I have the official Spotify application, but that's not the way I choose to run my system. No, we're running PID of Spotify D. Server running SPT Brad sucks. Boom. Brad sucks. Move the artist. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Dirtbag. And it should just play. Yep. You can hear that right there. Now before I get a copyright strike, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop that. But this is the, the text-based player. It, it's two parts here. You have the server and then you have the TUI. Now you can use, you can use your phones. So with the cell phone interface, I can choose the server I wanna connect. How do I choose that? There's a way, oh, there we are. Spotify D server shows up. And I'm gonna go in here. And we're gonna continue playing the next track. And it's not gonna be playing out of my phone, it's gonna be playing on my computer. It's because we've registered Spotify D as a device. So to set up Spotify D, which is go to the, the GitHub page, they have pre-compiled binaries, which is really nice. And the configuration uh, is it's basically just like a, a uh, spotifyd.com that you can either store in your local config or in your system config. Um, I'm the only user, so I just go ahead and put my local config. And you can just copy this one, and this is a pretty good one to build on, but all you really need to worry about here is username and password. Ah, uh, here is device name. It's always the last place you look. But whatever you call this is what it'll show up in both uh, SPT and of course in your mobile applications. Now, the front end is, um, I believe it's Spotify TUI. And once again, you can download from the release section, the binary for your system. Here's, here's how it looks in the demo. Looks nice. It looks a little nicer than what I had going on because I had that little cramped window. But the end result is really fun and awesome. Um, these, both these programs, you can compile them if you want by hand which means you can get them running on any platform. For example, um, I'm doing this on my ThinkPad, but you could also do it on like a little Raspberry Pi if one was so inclined. Okay, so this is my first video of 2020. It's a bit rambly, it's a bit all over the place. I might not even be in focus, I have no idea. I just kinda shot and ran with it and I'm feeling good. So if you like the video, the little buttons down there can reflect if you like or dislike or would like to follow, you can also follow me on Mastodon and other 
um, social networks down below, so follow those, and I guess that's it for now. And I'll see you guys uh, soon. Spaceships from far away were already here on the earth today. Just so small that you wouldn't believe. Travel at speeds that we couldn't conceive.